there is just something about a red lip for the summer that just makes my heart beat a little bit faster <laughs> hey you guys welcome to my channel my name is Rita if you're new here please be sure to subscribe we talk about makeup about handbags a little bit of uh, fashion blogs all of that good stuff so if that seems like something you're interested definitely consider subscribing just hit this little red button that says subscribe and be sure to hit the little bell so you get notified every time that i post so i've been in mexico for almost like a month and a half and this has been my goal to makeup of course i have a very condensed makeup bag that i brought with me from my house but regardless i do have more options of makeup than what i use today and this has been the one that i've been using every single time that i'm wearing makeup so if you're interested in this very beautiful very glowy makeup then please keep on watching i feel like it's been a while that i just sit down and do my makeup so today we're gonna be doing that just doing makeup chatting doing a little bit of a catch up so as usual my skincare is already done but my skin has been extra dry lately i'm not entirely sure maybe because it is very dry here i've mentioned this just a little bit on a couple of different videos i'm gonna start with the hey honey good morning serum this can be used as a primer or as a skincare so today because my skin is a little too dry i'll be using it as a primer it is very very glowy and i feel like it gives a ton of hydration so like I was saying, I am in Mexico currently. I've been here by the time you're watching this video for maybe like a month and a half. So it's been a while. So I did just kind of like grab a bunch of makeup and brought it with me. I will be showing you what I used, not today. That's gonna be for a different video. Just kind of like going over all the makeup that I brought. I feel like I brought a lot of things, but not too many, like not too many things, but enough for the amount of time that I thought I was gonna be staying. And um, also, even though I did bring enough, I feel like I miss other makeup. Like, oh, I wish I had brought this or I wish I had that other option. So while we chat today, we're gonna be doing kind of like what has been my go-to makeup. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't done makeup a lot since I'm here just because I've just mostly stayed at home. I haven't really been out as much. So whenever I do makeup, this is what I've been doing. I've been using the same eyeshadow palette, kind of like the same eye look, same things. So I thought we can go through that. So now that the skincare primer is applied, let's go ahead and use a little bit of foundation. I've been liking it or I've been liking mixing it with a more glowy highlighter, primer, base kind of product. I go between the Rare Beauty and this little sample size of the Becca. This one is, I can't even see, uh, Opal. So I think I'm gonna go for Opal. Yeah, that's what, the one that I've been using. And like I was mentioning earlier, my skin has been super dry, especially in these areas. So I was debating between Beautiful Skin or Tower 28. Because the dryness, I feel like this one is a little bit lighter. So I'm gonna go with the Tower 28, which honestly is the one that I've been using the most. So I'm just gonna add a little bit on the back of my hand and then also pop in on the back the Becca highlighter. This combo has been my go-to. It's really, really good. It gives my skin a ton of glow, but like I was saying, it's just, my skin has been super, super dry. If you hear any barkings around, it's all the babies <laughs> that are going insane. So I'm just gonna mix this with my finger and then just apply, but I will be using a brush. So just kind of like putting it everywhere. Or I use this foundation, really not really foundation, but this um, skin tint, I prefer to use my hands. But since we are using the Becca highlighter, I feel like brush is the best application. So for my corrector concealer, the first thing that I use is the corrector from Tarte. This is the Clay CC. I've been using this for maybe like two months. I already have it applied on this side. The way I use it is going to be mostly to kind of like diminish the blue, green, uh, purple under, under eye uh, veins that I have. Since I have no pigment around my eyes, it is very noticeable. So I found that doing this before my concealer definitely helps to diminish that coloring. 
Now let's move on with concealer. So I use a mix of really three products, so the corrector and then two concealers. This one, the first one is gonna be Too Faced, Born This Way, mine's in the shade Nude. And then on the sides of the white patches, or so right here, I like to use the Kat Von D or KBD Beauty concealer in the shade Medium 146. So I like to apply the Too Faced mostly in the inner corner and right there. And then also down here, around my nose for any redness. So the majority of the product is gonna go on the lid and down here. And then I grab the KBD, which is the closest to my, my skin tone. And then I just add it on here and then a little also down there. So with that amount, all I do is grab my brush. This one is by Rare Beauty and I just start blending this. I believe this is the foundation brush, but it's perfect for around the eyes. So now that that is done, before I move on with the kind of like setting of the concealer and whatnot, we're going to go ahead and do a little bit of contouring. So I'm using the... Um, Cream bronzer by Fenty. This one in the shade Macchiato. It's my favorite shade to bronze or to contour. This was the only product, uh, kind of like more contouring shade that I brought with me. So I do wish I had another one because I've been using this one for a while and I always like to switch up my makeup and use different things. Now let's move on with highlight. I always like to apply bronzer or uh, contour, then the highlight, the blush. And since I'm going to be using a liquid highlighter, this one is Flaunt by Rare Beauty. I'm going to be applying this before my face powder. So I already have a little bit in the back of my hand. I particularly don't like to apply liquid or, um, or like a cream product directly on my face with the product. Like this, you could do that. But since I do apply concealer in specific areas to cover something, I don't want the highlighter or the bronzer or whatever it is that's cream to move that product underneath so it's always going to be easier and honestly it's going to look better you're not going to make mistakes and it's easier to maneuver product whenever you apply with a brush so there's the cream product and i am just going to add it to my brush and i'm just going to start blending in that kind of like regular high points of my face let's move on with my powder I've been using and loving my Essence. This is my Skin Perfector Loose Fixing Powder. This actually has a shade, it's in the shade Fair. There's, whenever I bought this, there was no translucent. I always prefer my, uh, my powders to be translucent. So I'm just going to add the powder around my eyes, a little bit around my nose and down here on my mouth, basically where I applied my uh, concealers. Let's move on with bronzer and this is going to be a powder version. So this one is by Cover FX and I've been absolutely loving both of them. But today we're going to be using only the more glowy one. This one is in the shade Sunkissed Bronzed. I don't even think they sell this anymore. But uh, it was a really good one. I also love contouring with this. If I wanted to go a little bit more deeper in my contour after the Fenty one, I would go with this one and just kind of like define my cheeks and my structure, face structure a little bit more. But today I'm gonna be very chill, so I just don't want to add any more contour, just a blush. So I am going to be using my favorite e.l.f. stipple brush that no longer exists in this size, in this size. And I'm just going to brush my forehead with that bronzer and then also down here on my neckline or my jawline and of course on the cheeks which is my favorite area because then you look very very bronzy and glowy and then in the bridge of my nose just a little bit For blush i am going to be very realistic of what i've been using so i did bring like four or five different blushes but i have been using this little palette non-stop so depending on what lipstick i'm going to be wearing i'll go for either that one or the more mauve one or i'll just mix them together today i think i'm going to go for the pink the brighter pink and with this uh echo tools brush i just add these on my cheeks and bring it back 
and same thing and i always like to add a little bit on the bridge of my nose to give me a bit more of that very bronzy summery look so now to set up and finish up the highlight you can see that that beautiful highlight is the one that we used earlier and it's still very glowy and very natural looking i just love that but i want to add a little extra and yes i did mention that i like to add the highlighter before but that one that i used was a little more intense so now we're gonna go for a more subtle more natural looking uh, highlight on top of what we just applied so the same palette from hourglass and it's just a little one in the corner and i'm just gonna add a little bit of that highlight and if i feel that it looks a little harsh without any more product on the brush that we use for the blush i just kind of like add a little extra and that just makes everything nicely blended and to look a little more seamless now let's move on with eyes and i've been using non-stop whenever i'm doing my makeup like a full face the man eater palette by tarte this is such a cute little palette perfect for every day if you're like me you like your makeup for your everyday natural more kind of like easy this is the way to go i love this little palette so what i've been using every single day it's literally two or three eyeshadows from this palette let's start with purr which is going to be right in the middle and with a fluffy blending brush this one is by makeup by mario and sephora i just like to add this all over my crease very very simple and also all around my lid super super fast and honestly i just been loving this now that that's done i'm just gonna go on the shade foxy it really depends if i want to add a little more makeup appearance i'll go for foxy if i want to go like super light i'll go with lace so today let's just go with foxy so just with my finger i'm just going to add it all over my lid it is still a super subtle shade as you can see but it is definitely a little more pigmented or a little more intense than the other one then going back to purr i'm just going to define the crease again just a little bit and now with my pinky finger i'm just gonna go into lace which is the lighter uh, shimmering shade and i like to add it very very um, kind of like intense on the inner corner so not just like a little bit but i like to bring it closer to my nose bridge i feel like whenever i add more my eyes just look more awake bigger my eyes are very small so this definitely helps so that's what i've been doing if i wanted to be a little bit extra which we'll do it today we're gonna add midnight which is the darker brown on the palette with a more precise brush and i just like to add this very very lightly on my lash line so this is by charlotte tilbury the pillow talk uh, push-up lashes one of my favorite mascaras of all times if not my favorite so i just add a lot of mascara that's something that i always like to do ton of mascara is the way to go for me i am back and I actually did my brows off camera because it just takes me a very long time and nobody has time for that especially because this video is really gonna be super long so anyway brows are done i used the charlotte tilbury brow lift that i absolutely love and now let's move on with lips let's go ahead and go for a cowbell so here it is you guys uh, my favorite go-to makeup look that has been off late probably for the past month whenever i have makeup on this is what i have with the exception of lipstick i just kind of like rotate depending on where i'm going how i'm feeling what i'm wearing you know lipstick is also a very kind of like personal choice at the moment like oh today i want to go for a red tomorrow i'm gonna do a pink a nude it just really varies and i brought a lot of lipsticks with me I'll talk a little more in depth about all of the makeup that I brought with me to Mexico. As you can probably tell if you are familiar with my channel, I have a pretty big makeup collection. So whenever I have to condense for a trip, it's always very nerve wracking. Like, oh my God, I should have brought this, I should have brought that. So anyway, that'll be a different video for a different day. But for today, that's going to be everything. I love this makeup. And if you've seen my previous videos that have been filmed in this house, you can probably tell by the background. This is the makeup that I've been doing. Regardless of the video, it's 
everything that I've been using, the exact same products. So if you have, you know, if you've been curious about what makeup I've been using, I did get a couple of comments in my Lisa Eldridge swatching of the new lipsticks of my makeup, this was it. Exactly the same products with the exception, of course, of the lipstick. Thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, like always, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.